I need help understanding the speech rater charts on my speaking score. Sure. Every speech rater chart on your reports page shows the relationship between your dimension score and overall TOEFL speaking scores. First, recall that my speaking score tracks 12 dimensions for you. Think of dimensions as components of your overall speaking performance that is measured. Each dimension falls under one of three constructs, delivery, language use, and topic development. This construct grouping aligns with the TOEFL speaking rubrics. Are you with me so far? Yes. Dimensions are just aspects of my English that SpeechRater evaluates. That's right. The Y-axis represents the overall TOEFL speaking score ranges, while the X-axis represents your dimension score. For example, let's consider the speaking rate chart under the delivery construct. This dimension measures how fast you speak. It's one way to measure your fluency. Okay. If your speaking rate dimension score is 88, it means that other test takers who scored in the 88th percentile in the speaking rate dimension also achieved overall TOEFL speaking scores between 26 and 30. Speech Rater data tells us that it's unlikely that test takers with a speaking rate score of 88 received an overall TOEFL speaking score below 26. Wait a minute. Are you saying that based on the speaking rate dimension alone, I can predict my overall TOEFL speaking score? Not exactly. The speaking rate chart compares your performance in speaking rate, how fast you speak in words per second, to the performance of a large group of test takers. It shows you where you stand compared to others. I see. Your dimension score always falls into an overall TOEFL speaking score range, so it provides an estimate of the overall score you might expect based on the performance of others who scored similarly in that particular dimension. I think I got it. Let's look at another one. Say vocabulary diversity. How come the horizontal bars are different here? That's a great question. Vocabulary diversity is a less reliable indicator of TOEFL speaking success. There is significant overlap between the different levels on this chart. In fact, all 12 dimension charts have overlapping bars. Think of it this way. Two people could have the exact same vocabulary diversity score, say a 65, but one test taker could have an overall TOEFL speaking score in the good range and the other in the weak range. Are you saying that one person could have a vocabulary diversity score of 65 and an overall TOEFL speaking score of 28, while another person could have the same 65 and a speaking score of 7, or, I don't know, 18? Yes, it's happened. So, vocabulary diversity is not a very good predictor of overall TOEFL speaking scores. Correct. Our data also tells us that vocabulary diversity likely has a mild impact on your overall TOEFL speaking score, meaning that speaking rate, for example, is a more important dimension because it has a strong impact. That's what those dots mean. That's right. One dimension on its own is not a reliable indicator of your TOEFL speaking ability. That's why you need to consider all of the dimensions when you assess your speech rate or scores. So it's important to look at the whole picture. Yes. Consider not only the individual scores for each dimension, but also how they come together to reflect your overall speaking ability. It's like looking at all the puzzle pieces to see the complete picture of someone's TOEFL speaking skills. You can read more about this on our knowledge base.